Senator Cassidy is joining us now with a look at uh, how that money is being doled out. And we'll talk about some other things as well. First of all, you were one of the people who expressed uh, um, congratulations to, uh, to the appointment of uh, Mitch Landrieu as kind of the, uh, the uh, infrastructure czar. Yeah, so the infrastructure bill has billions for coastal restoration, flood mitigation, hardening the grid for natural disasters, et cetera. Uh, of course, I would, I would have preferred a Republican. I'm a Republican. But Mitch understands those issues as well as anybody. And, he, and if others try and crowd those out, he is going to preserve. Uh, and so I think that's a good thing, good for our state, good for the country. We and, need to adapt, and this is part of adapt, adapting. And, and Senator Cassidy, you were one of the few Republicans who did back the infrastructure bill because you said it was good for Louisiana, it was good for the country. Absolutely. By the way, I also opposed the BBB, the Build Back Better bill, and the fact that we passed infrastructure separately, pretty much everybody acknowledges, is one of the reasons the Build Back Better bill failed. The American people know we need more infrastructure. And the left had hoped to tie that into the Build Back Better to pass the whole thing. Well, let me ask the you this. The fact that we since, got the infrastructure, uh, me, the past let, kind of, if you will, took some of the momentum out of the other. Yeah, and, and let me ask you, since you brought, back, uh, brought up the Build Back Better bill, are there parts of it that, that, that you, you like or would support? I mean, the child, child tax credit is one that's extremely popular. It's, it's helped a lot of people. Um, that's going to expire. Yeah, so the child tax credit was only for a year. And so everybody talks about the child tax credit only for a year. And I, I will point out the second largest item in the Build Back Better bill was tax breaks for millionaires and billionaires who live in states like New Jersey, and New York. And one analysis showed that actually after 2023, taxes would go up on the middle class. So you're cutting taxes for those who don't need the money and you're raising taxes on the middle class uh, and your excuse is that you have one year of a child tax credit. Well, that's but, not but, really but, a wise public policy. But one of your colleagues, uh, um, um, uh, Senator Romney from, from Utah, said he would like to see the child tax credit expand and, and continue. Well, so if you can pay for it, it's a wonderful thing. Uh, but you got to pay for it. Joe Manchin pointed out that Medicare and Social Security are going insolvent. And in this bill, we actually increase Medicare spending. And yet, and so therefore, you kind of speed up the point at which it runs out of money. And social is such an important program, Social Security. That's going insolvent. This program, this bill did nothing to do that. Instead, it added $3 trillion to our nation's debt and made us less able to address issues like the insolvency of social. Yeah. So that was one of the reasons that Manchin said, let's get our priorities straight. I agree with that. And, and, and to, today, President Biden is going to be talking about the, uh, the Omicron variant and more people getting vaccinated. Why has this become so political? Even former President Trump, who was, uh, was in front of a crowd, said he, he was vaccinated. He said that, that uh, you know, it was his administration that really got the vaccine developed. And he said he got, he got a booster shot and he was booed. Yeah, I can't explain that. All I can say is that probably we need to take it out of politics and put it back into the doctor-patient relationship. Well, it may be a little late for that. Position. Well, it may be too late, but sometimes you know, the federal government mashing things down is not working. So I just say to the patients, to, the, to my fellow Americans, speak to your doctor. Your doctor is going to explain the safety of the vaccine, the importance of the vaccine, and the patients that she or he has seen who've not been vaccinated and how terribly they've done once they got COVID. But we have and seen so a lot of people. if we can begin who, pushing that relationship, that's better. We have seen a lot of people who have talked to their doctors. They don't believe the science. They believe some of the stuff they read on Facebook or other places. And again, all I can say is you got to go back to a trusted resource. Facebook, as we know, often just kind of spreads rumors and lies. We know that if whether you're from the left or the right. And as, as kind of slow as it seems, there's no substitute for just knowledge. And, and so we need that patient-physician relationship. Yeah, I'm trying to cram in a lot of stuff here, Senator, so just bear with me. Uh, let, let's talk about something that, uh, that Senator McConnell said the other day about the, uh, the January 6th investigation in the House, which most Republicans have not been supportive of. He said that, that he said it was very interesting. He said th these are things that Americans need to know. Yeah, of course. 
the Amer we need to have as much transparency in government and those activities around government as possible. And so we're learning kind of who's involved and that's what McConnell said. And what is the nature of their involvement? There's gonna be some people that you think, oh my gosh, they were terrible. It turns out it's gonna be all okay. And other people who kind of stood by the side, kept their voice down, didn't admit to anything, that you may find out did things that just weren't right. In fact, they were bad for our country. The more we know, the better we know. If, if, if the committee does want to subpoena some members of Congress who they say are tied in, into to the planning or, or the, uh, the uh, uh, you know, stories that, 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 that uh, the election was rigged, which there's no proof of, um, would you support that? No American is above the law, period, end of story. And if members of Congress make laws, we should be subject to the laws we make. I take that as a general principle and I'd apply it to this commission as well. And that's why you, 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 voted, you voted to impeach the president, um, voted for, for a, a conviction after, after the uh, January 6th insurrection. Yes, no person is above the law. Okay, Senator Cassidy, we do appreciate you taking time um, and uh, talking with us. Hey, thank you, Eric. Always enjoy it, man. Merry Christmas, by the way. Cram that in, too. <laughs> we, we, we will cram that in. Merry Christmas to you, too. <laughs> Hope you guys... You guys are on a Christmas break right now, correct? We are. We're still working, but we're just... I'm in Louisiana, praise God. Uh, but, but we're still Zooming. We're working on a lot of stuff, and so we're just Zooming away from home. <laughs>